From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Ryan Aber, OU beat writer. Ryan, a couple of uh, coaching moves on the football staff has met a couple of openings, and sounds as though we know who's going to fill one of those, and it's a pretty familiar name. DeMarco <laughs> Murray's coming back to coach running backs. Yeah, it was reported on Sunday night that DeMarco Murray is going to be Oklahoma's new running backs coach, replacing Jay Bulware, who left to take the uh, uh, job at Texas as the special teams coordinator slash tight ends coach there. So uh, DeMarco Murray, I think the biggest takeaway from this is his ability to recruit uh, should be, be a positive for this staff because he's not that far removed from an NFL career. Right. Uh, kids right now are going to know who DeMarco Murray is and the job he did in the NFL. It's not like he's a guy who played 20 years ago. So uh, I, I think this is going to be a positive. He's only coached one year, so there's a question over – you know, how he's going to be able to develop guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, the biggest thing right now is recruiting, and, and that would appear to be a positive. Well, um, this opens a question about sort of the other spot and also the fact that uh, Bulware was doing the special teams coaching. We don't yet know. I mean, there might, with the official announcement, we may learn more. But there's still some moving parts to this whole thing and how Oklahoma is going to structure who does what? I, I assume Murray will coach the running backs, but there yeah. is still a question of who fills that spot that Ruffin McNeil left open after his announcement last week. So do you feel like they're for sure going to bring in a defensive assistant or is an offensive assistant a possibility? What's your best guess on all this? I would assume it would be a defensive assistant, either uh, outside linebackers or you could split up the, the defensive line again like yeah. they did with Ruffin McNeil and Calvin Thibodeau a couple years ago. I, I would expect to have Shane Beamer uh, as a special teams coordinator. He's done it several different spots. Obviously, the reputation that his dad had at Virginia Tech with special teams was off the charts. He's sort of in that mold. Um, so you would expect him to take over that role. He's helped Jay Bulware with OU special teams the last couple of years, but I would anticipate him taking a much more active role there. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do it mm -hmm. because uh, there is a lot of flexibility as I wrote a couple weeks ago with these openings over how you can fill them and that still remains even after DeMarco Murray is named Oklahoma's running backs coach which we expect this week. Lastly uh, you know obviously Calvin Thibodeau a Sooner alum as well DeMarco Murray an alum what do you what, what's your best guess about how that that plays into things I mean obviously you know, we've seen Oklahoma have great success with a limited amount of, of past Sooners on the staff, but does that add anything in your mind to, to what Lincoln Riley's doing? You know, I think it does a little bit, especially given the fact that these guys, when you talk about uh, Calvin Thibodeau and DeMarco Murray, were here in the heyday of, of the Bob Stoops era. So they know what the expectation level is here. I think they know what the recruiting level is here. Yeah. Um, I think it's a, a little bit different for a guy like Kale Gundy, who was before that, although clearly he's done a fantastic right. job, both in the running backs coach's role now as inside receivers and, of course, as recruiting coordinator. So, uh, you know, I think there's some weight behind that of knowing the area, knowing the recruiting landscape, and being able to, to jump right into it. You know, we saw that with Brian Odom last year, yeah. and I think we're going to see it again with DeMarco Murray. Yeah, when you start to think about how many guys there are on this staff, they're, <laughs> they're kind of trending towards about yeah. half being past Sooners. Yeah, uh, you it's, know? it's pretty incredible. For, for a long time, Cale Gundy was the only one, yeah. and now the last couple of years they've, they've added Calvin Thibodeau, and then they added Brian Odom last year when Alex Grinch was brought aboard, and now DeMarco Murray. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely a, an ex sooner flavor on the staff for sure. For sure. All right, we'll continue to follow that. I'm sure we'll get a, an official announcement from Oklahoma at some point about these coaching moves, so we'll uh, be covering that. So be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at Oklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.